Band on today. today. Oh. Right at the start of the video. What is he doing? Hey! <laughs> you have a little regression. You know what? A little regression means it's time for a bandal. Get your head back in the game. 1.1 billion views from 2014. Latency tuning rock band ass track. Press the kick pedal every time you hear the drum. I don't know this one yet. Okay, how about the bass? Ooh, okay, a little unexpected. Ooh, look, well, I'm not afraid to use the, the entire scale, huh? They're taking it down to the low lows. I don't know, it's still. Oh, yeah, I know. Stay with me. Oh, cause it, is that, that must be Hosier. Stay, Sam Smith, stay with me. Guess, that is correct. I know that one, yeah. I don't like the emotional Sam Smith songs unless the emotion is like um, regrettable horniness. How did I know that before, Ryan? Songs we used to listen to in our car because it was on the radio station, for sure. I'm definitely more into the Extina era Sam Smith. Mommy doesn't know daddy's getting hurt at the hobby shop. Watching Dragon Ball Broly. She be buying stocks while she shorting it. He be snorting it. Jelking it slowly. That's more my style. That song's so ass. POV, you are a youth pastor? I don't know, that's not really fair. You're probably a cool person. We can agree to disagree on this one. It goes pretty hard on Out of the Saddle Climbs and Cody Rigsby Pop Rides, though. Stripped and Back to Basics are Christina's best albums. Why, is, is Patrick Bateman, millennial Patrick Bateman in the chat? A lot of people prefer Christina's earlier work, like Genie in a Bottle, which I must admit is one of the seminal pop songs from the girl idol era. That being said, I've always thought it was nicer when Christina got to let loose a little bit, such as on her album Stripped, which included Wanna Get Dirty, It's About Time For My Arrival, as well as, of course, you'll remember the music video for that, uh, for Beautiful, which featured the first man-on-man -man kiss in MTV video history. I've also enjoyed Back to Basics, when she goes a little bit more into that doo-wop style that wasn't popular at the time, but Christina wasn't afraid to break new grounds. That is, until she got that contract on America's Got Talent. The voice, but we take those? What's wrong with my voice? Oh, no, she's on the voice. Oh, I see. I don't, I, the fucking X Factor, America's Got Talent. The voice. Hey, thank you, librarian, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I thought you were talking about the Bene Gesserit or some shit. Don't do the voice. Ooh, daddy, daddy, my Balenciaga baddie. Get zapped, fool. Come on in. What you think, I sold them all? I might have sold that one. Okay, little stutter step. We don't respect the stutter step in this house. We gotta find our moment. Huge moment to find. Now back it the frick up, Samurai. And then get the frick closer. You don't get much off of this, so. You get a lot of damage, but you don't get a lot of stun time. We should wait on that one. It's fine. It's fine. I'm living. Go up in the air. Do something up in the air. A 
I made an error in judgment. No way, run, run, run! Did it happen? Did we do it? Is this crazy? Did Bandel save me? Thank you, Sam Smith! Thank you, Sam Smith! I know it's a good boss, because right after I beat it, I'm like, she wasn't even that hard. <laughs> Shut up. Well, like, it, was, it wasn't that hard. I don't know what to say. <laughs> hey, good, I guess. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. We cooked this fraud. You basically suck. Do you have dialogue? Nope. Get faded. I took the walk to Poland. You're just off the Benjamin. We're not the same. So true. Let's do a little bandel. Released in 1977, 270 million views. I, like, want to guarantee this is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. It's not. I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to need the bass. I like it. I remember then, even further back, a long time ago. Wait, okay, give me one more. Ooh. I'm embarrassed to say, like, it's, it sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know it yet. Oh. No, no, it does. that's We Are the Champions. It's like, wow. We are the champions. Remastered 2011. That is correct. There was no audio the whole time. No. <laughs> All right, well, here's where I got it. But before... You get the electric guitar part when you only had drum and bass. It was it was more like um, I almost felt like it was like a 1950s like sleep walking or something like that. Like that's tough. I needed I needed the electric guitar, but whatever. The bass going down gives it away. Well, I don't listen to the song that much because I don't compete in like eighth grade basketball tournaments anymore. So I prefer to listen to good music on my downtime, but lots of people have differences of opinion. We enjoy music lovers of all stars and stripes here. You will not catch my ass saying, hey, Spotify, play We Are The Champion. We Are The Champions by Queen. Simply not going to happen. Maybe I'd say, you know, hey, play Somebody To Love by Queen. Hey, play... Um, Princes of the Universe by Queen. But you will not catch me saying, play We Are the Champions. You will catch me saying, hey Spotify, play Kill This Love, Japan version by Blackpink. Am I right, DL Guiga? So true. So true. <laughs> that was good. Blink spotted. I know all the biases. There's Lisa and Jisoo and... Bowser, Ike, Palutina, King DDD, Marth, Mr. Game and Watch, Kirby, Pikachu, and Pichu. 1998, 877 million views. Okay, this is Family Affair by Mary J. Blige. 
Think it percolating, automating, Elon Musk is he, keep it cyber trucking, sucking fucking, dance your dance for me, for me, for, I don't think this is Family Affair by Mary J. Blige, I wasn't listening, is this, okay, no, 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 skip me one, let me get the bass on that, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, he's popping it. I don't know it like right away, but that's a funky bass line, bro. Let me get guitar plus organ, please. Percolating. Oh, no, no, uh, I, this, this is, uh, oh, it's so obvious. I'm so embarrassed. Mm, hit me, baby. Hit me, baby. One more time. Baby, one more time. There we go. That's crazy, dude, that it's got... I didn't know it had that bass line trucking along under the skin there. Oh, holy, man. Me at the next function. Yo, the bass line on Hit Me Baby One More Time goes pretty crazy. It goes pretty crazy. Everyone else being like, is this dude actually 34 years old? <laughs> I'm sorry, we gotta stop. That is horrible. That's, it is a Halloween, hit me baby one more time, or Christmas. It's some holiday, that's for sure. Bandle, bandle, bandle. Bandle bomb, bandle bomb. Released in 1983. 200, it's 861 million views. Who? Is this crazy train? Dana, dana. I, I, I. Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne. No matching song. Okay, well, skip. Bass me. Oh, Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics. It is indeed Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics. <laughs> They just need the dude on the doohickey ripping it up. I guess Blue Monday first. That's fair. I mean, lots of times you'll listen to a song and you're like, I guarantee it's Be My Baby because it starts dun, da dun, tsh, dun, da dun, tsh, and you're like, that's Be My Baby, easy. All of a sudden, it, it's like, eh, wrong. You hit the bass part and you're like, oh, it's just like Honey by the Jesus and Mary Chain, son of a bitch. There's no way to know, man. There's no way to, they, they, a lot of songs start with the, a very similar sort of drum part. 4.9 billion views released in 2012. Almost every person on earth has heard this song once. Willfully, which is crazy. Take my breath away and do 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 I don't know it yet. Wait, is it 4.9 billion views released in 2012? It must be Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. It is Gangnam Style. Okay. That one, it would, I did not know it from the drums at all. I just, the metrics are too much. I mean, 5 billion, it might be the only song in the world with 5 billion views. <laughs> Bass gives it away. Okay, let's ring tones that go hard as hell. Yeah, the bass does give it away. The 
synth does nothing. Sounds like a, an alien ship attacking. That uh, synth two also does some work. Heyday music. <laughs> I still think Gangnam Style goes pretty hard, but the MIDI version does not go hard. Did you do Bandle today? Listen, you don't have to hit me with these like uh, roundabout questions, okay? If you want to hear MIDI Gangnam Style, you just say, hey, NL, can you play MIDI Gangnam Style? It goes pretty hard, right? Fucking good, man. Sa -na 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 -na, something, something, something. Yaja, me coming back from Korea. Yeah, I speak a little Korean. Uh, something, 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 something. Yaja. 2003, 601 million views. Easy. 2003, 601 million views. I'm thinking this is like a, a hey, yeah. This is like a, a yeah by Usher. This is something in that vein. Dana, 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 I, 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 dana, dana, That's not hey, yeah. Or is it like, is it Seven Nation Army? Wow, 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 wow. I feel like it's a little slow. For a little fast for Seven Nation Army. Never mind. Seven Nation Army. You know what? That's very fortuitous. That was on our um, 60 minute Christine Dare Cole Power Zone Endurance ride today. And what I'm not trying the in the end of, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. But it was billed as a 90s ride, and they put Seven Nation Army on it. Just pissing me off because this song did not come out in the 1990s. At the end of the day, I wasn't unhappy to hear the song. It's a perfectly cromulent song, but at the same time, I was like, why bill it as a 90s ride? Why are there so many parodies for Seven Nation Army? First thing someone said is, I'm gonna suck him off. A Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back. Then someone said, they say my dick is small. Every single scrotum got a story to tell. Taking all coomers. So true. Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's feeling a little cold. He's got his jacket under his knees. Let him rock. Let him roll. Let the chili dudes come and fill my hole. As fast as you can and make you women and men thick it down. <laughs> and it's, I, I don't really like John Cougar Mellencamp. In fact, I might even take it a step further and say I dislike uh, John Cougar Mellencamp's music. I don't know as a human being, and frankly, I don't care because the only reason I know about him is because of his music. It's crazy that he's not Canadian because his music is horrible. By the way, in case you're new here, I'm Canadian. I'm... I'm mad at Canadian music because we did a, a another Power Zone ride where the theme of the ride was that there were like, you know, this these songs are from the US, these songs are from the UK, these songs are from Canada, these songs are from Germany. And then they were like, you know, we're going to Canada. And the first song was um, Kids Wanna Rock by Brian Adams. I hate Brian Adams. All of the songs that Brian Adams, I think, has ever made, and that's one of them. And then number two was something by Sean Mendez, and I was like, "Brother, you skipped the, you skipped every good artist we got." I'm not saying there's a, a hundred thousand, but there's like you know, at least a few dozen you could have gone with. What about Rush? Where's the Rush? If you're gonna play some pop, where's like the Carly Rae Jepsen? Where's the Soul Decision? Where's the kind of faded, but I'm feeling all right. Think about making my move tonight. But then he said, we're headed to the UK. And he played Ed Sheeran featuring Camilla Cabello and Cardi B. 
my, my three favorite British musicians. Gangnam Style in the Seven Nation Army. Bandle needs to step it up a bit. Do not let the Tradle fuckers get their hands on Bandle. It's nice that the songs are like mainstream enough that everybody except Apollo at least knows what they could be. I do not want to play this shit. Listen, it would be fun for me, but if they start playing like House of Jealous Lovers by The Rapture or something like that, you know the whole website is cooked. People are going to be, really? This is like the Kira body of Bandle. We start with a little Bandle today. 1991, 525 million views. I don't even want to hear the first track. This is Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. No, it is not. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go! I don't know it yet. Skip me track one, track two. Ooh. Uh, it's, it's recognizable, but I can't pin it yet. Give me the bass. Oh, it's come as you are. I'm four bars off, but whatever. That's Come As You Are by Nirvana. It had to be Nirvana. With that many views from 1991, it was either Nirvana or like some... Euro dance track you only hear in Ben Aldis rides. Baby, if you want me, you got to show me love. These words aren't that easy to say. You know what I'm talking about? Man, this shit goes hard. Where's the voice? There's no voice. Nirvana kind of good, IMO. That's brave. Released in 1984, 31 million views. Hard, par four. Oh man, imagine if this was like Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Nope. Huh. Two. Huh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. She has not had a vitamin yet. Okay. okay. Wait, birds? Give me a second. I don't, it's a monster mash. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you hear them? They talk about us telling lies. Now that's no surprise if you see them. I don't know this yet. Oh, holy, dude. What's the dude who did all that banger NES music? Ken Follett? I don't know it yet, but this is incredible. Oh yeah, no, it keep, keep on pushing. Oh no, it's a Madonna song. Is it, is it Borderline or is this um, La Isla Bonita? Or is it? I know it, I know it. This is a Peloton 4 song. Skipping, give me the voice cover, please. All right, give me the voice cover. Eternal narrative? What is eternal narrative? What is endless story? Endless? Oh, it's not in there. It, the clue is eternal narrative. Never ending. Limal, never ending story. Today's song was Limal, never ending story. Okay, I got it right. 
just from the clue. But now I'm like, I don't know what this is. Who the hell is Lamal? I feel like a never ending story. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I know it, man. I literally did a Sam Yo ride today with that song. I, I, I think that I, that's how I know it. I owe Sam Yo for this one. Wasn't this movie in yesterday's Cine 2 Nerdle? I don't know what movie it is. What do you mean it's not a movie? Like, this is a song. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the never-ending story movie. I see what you're talking about. But this isn't from the movie, the never-ending story. I think. It is? All right. Well, I haven't seen that since I was probably five. Also, I think that my never-ending story lore is cooked. Because I definitely saw never-ending story as a kid. But I, I, maybe I watched it a lot before my memory was being formed. You know how like toddler memory works? You have like a memory, you're making memories as a kid up to like age three, four. Then your brain like slowly cannibalizes the memory section of your brain. It eats your memories to get bigger. And then it allows you to form new memories on like the, the five prime to three prime, prime direction in the back. So I uh, don't quote me on that, by the way. I don't know. That's what my wife told me, though. I saw this as a kid. My mom told me that I've seen the never ending story like 20 times. All I remember is the kid falling or the, the horse getting sucked into the quicksand. But I've seen the never ending story, too, like 35 times. And I remember... 20% of the movie. I remember the weird fucking bird, the robots, the, uh, the bad, the villain is like a witch, but she's kind of also like a dominatrix. There's a two? I think there's a three. The, the second one, he's like afraid of diving on the diving board, but then at the end of the movie, he has to dive in order to like get back to the real world or whatever. Bandel. Released in 1995, 1.3 billion views. You know this is pure ass. A 90s song with one and a half billion views has got to be pure ass. Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the tears and thank you for the tips. You were my subs, now give it a rest. See you in the on band requests. Okay, I don't know. Based on the drums, I don't know immediately. Ooh, oh, it's a square ass wave. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Gangster's Paradise by Coolio. So true. We got it in two today. That was dirty. That was a dirty ass square beat, man. I'm the MIDI cover of this is gonna ruin it for sure. It's like some shit you'd hear in an Adam Sandler movie. Where Adam Sandler has to save like a church that's about to go out of business. And he's like, see, the problem is you're playing this, all these old hymns. Why don't you, Granny, why don't you play some of this? And then she starts playing Gangster's Paradise. And all the people that were previously all like button up in the pews stand up. And they're like waving their arms. And you, you hear like the, the choir is like. Even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. I've got, you know, this is an Adam Sandler Saves a Church movie cover, without a doubt. How does a church go out of business? Well, uh, listen, I don't know if you're from Wellingford, Northamptonshire, but if your church is like, you know, they didn't buy their land in 1581 after the Magna fucking Carta came out. They still got to pay rent to somebody. Shit's expensive, man. My teeth! <laughs> then the shy kids start singing. So true. The kid who is like, got bullied by all the cool kids in the choir starts to sing and they have like the most beautiful soprano voice of all time. Or they're insane at rapping, even though they're from Pennsylvania. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Philadelphia's in Pennsylvania. So true. Me on my first grade geography test. 
yeah, we learned American geography in Canada. I don't really know why. The fucked up part is it's actually been way more useful for me than Canadian geography. <laughs> anyway, why the hell is PA catching strays? Because you're next to Ohio, okay? Know your place. I mean, we're next to Alberta here. So it's not like I'm trying to say we're completely innocent, but Ohio skibbity riz. You have the riz to remain skibbity. Any cap you spit may be held against you in a court of law on God. I'm begging you. 23-year-olds when a 34-year-old uses an 18-year-old slang. Please stop. Please stop. It's so cringe. Are you crazy? I'm screaming YOLO in the lane swerving. You know what's crazy, by the way? I watched, a, and I'm, I'm not suggesting anything untowards here. I watched Apollo play Bandel. Really, all the dulls. And he doesn't even have a camera on, and nobody ever accuses him of cheating for getting the right answer. I got my camera on. You can see my eyes laser locked to the dulls, to the monitor. And then uh, if I get it right, people are like, I saw you glance. And I'm like, brother, look at the, I'm laser focused. Hang on. I got to, I should be sitting here. And then the camera should be. I don't want to move because this is the most ergonomic way to sit at my desk. So which way does the camera have to move? Honestly, I don't care if it's off center. I do care if the tree is not in the, in the frame though. That'll work. Hi Tomo. Okay, 1976, 373 million views. Does sound like head, oh. Ow, 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 ow. Baby, please don't go. Ow, 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 ow. Please don't lead Zeppelin. It's not on there. Okay, skip me then. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, okay. I, I'm gonna know, I, I need to just, that bass line, the, the chord change should be so obvious. Just give me a second to filter through the library. I'm gonna go bass one more time, just to hold it. I'm gonna know, I'm embarrassed I don't know it yet. Let's see on guitar. Hotel California, donkey, donkey, donk. Of course, that's a 2013 remaster. That's why I didn't get it. Cause they, re they added that funky ass bass part in the 2013 version. Bro, that's the remastered bass line. Do, 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 do. Christmas music for the worst sports bar of all time. Sucking a dick that throat down California -in 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 -in. What a nice surprise You know what I'm saying? Did you see Leonard Cohen, Hallelujah, Skibbity Toilet? Why does that sound like um, one of those tweets on Top Trending where you click, you're like, I wonder why this is trending and then you click on it and it's some blue check from India that's tweeting like a video of uh, a Bollywood celebrity, but then it just has every trending hashtag underneath it. Donald Trump, Seattle, Kraken, Skibbity Toilet, blah, you get the idea. 2009, 1.4 billion views. This is Party Rock Anthem. Mm. 
This is Lollipop. I don't know it immediately. It's kind of a, a little bit of a dirty beat though. Let me get bass plus strings. Ooh. This must be a Lady Gaga song. No, 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 this is Katy Perry. This is Firework. This is the chord change from Firework by Katy Perry. Katy Perry. No matching song found? Excuse me? There's no Katy Perry songs in Bandel? Does she, did she do something to the Bandel owner? How is Katy Perry not in Bandel? She's one of the, it's K-A-T-Y. She's not in there, bro. She's not in there. She's not in there, bro. K-A-T-Y. That's crazy. Ah, ah, yeah. Everything I wanted more. Baby, I can see your halo. Too bad that you're a player for. I know what you're tired. That's me to me. I know, okay. That's Beyonce, Halo. I gotta imagine that the MIDI goes pretty hard on that one. Hey, librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm not a huge uh, Beyonce head. Mostly because it's harder to get tickets to that than the Renaissance tour. I mean, uh, uh, Britney's concert is hot down in Brazil right now. That being said, I do have to say, girl can sing, man. She can sing. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that. I'm going to do some gaming. I can't believe Sap's down, man. That's like, this is why... Americans only get like four vacation days a year because as soon as they get a vacation day they all log on to the shit that I want to do and take the servers down <laughs> the dolls are not gaming it's only gaming if it goes people people it's only oh no, no, dude play dude oh who is the fucking third president of the United States oh Thomas Jefferson that's not gaming gaming is when a uh, prompt on your screen says, press the A button, and you press the A button. Do something hard. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. 1997, 1.3 billion views. This feels like... 1.3 billion views. 1997? Maybe this is like Spice Girls. Um... It kind of sounds like Let's Get Loud by Jennifer Lopez, but I don't think that's 1997, and also it's not in there. Uh, so let's skip, let's hear the bass. Maybe this is Stop by the Spice Girls. The Spice... Rush, Spirit of Radio? No, I wish. Spice Girls, they only have Wannabe. Okay, we go next song. Is this Aqua? Saturday night, they feel the rhythm getting hot. Pretty baby. 1.3 billion views? Really? Saturday? Saturday night? I don't think it's going to be that. Let's, let's hear the piano. Is this Hathaway, What is Love? It's one of those, it's like a Euro dance track. It's rhythm. Rhythm is a dance. Snap. Rhythm is a dancer. No, okay. What a beautiful life. Oh, oh. It's a beautiful life. Oh, oh. Really? Am I crazy? Is this not like Ace of Bass? It's a beautiful, a beautiful life. Oh, oh. It's a beautiful life. Give me the voice. Give me the voice. Oh. <laughs> it was aqua. <laughs> A 
We got it, by the way. I'm 25 for 25 on, on Bandle. I'm a little embarrassed with myself, but there's just like, without being rude at all, take it from somebody who was, you know, alive in 1997, there were like 900 songs that had that exact same beat. Like every song on the radio was, was basically sounding exactly like that. No disrespect. I, I mean, Barbie Girl might be the most noteworthy of all of them. Any of them have a hit movie come out this year? Well, no, but Show Me Love has been on like every Peloton ride recently. Baby, if you want me, you got to show me love. You know what I'm talking about? These words are too easy to say. I love when people say like, no, that was 100% Barbie girl. Yeah, obviously. But like sometimes you don't know what the weather is like until you look out the window and you're like, oh, I just realized it's raining. Your ass is going to be like, oh, it's actually been raining for a few hours. Okay. I had the curtains down. One of these days, the bandle is going to be like long distance run around by Rush. Sorry, by Yes, my mistake. You guys are going to be like, I didn't get it. It wasn't Megan the Stallion. This isn't Savage by Megan the Stallion. And I'm going to, boom, I'm going to fucking stick it to you, man. You didn't get Barbie Girl on the second one? No, I don't go to karaoke with people who sing Aqua songs. 2016, 2.1 billion views. I have no idea. I was, I was waiting for it to kick in like to the next level. Let me get some bass. Uh, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna know it. I'm gonna know it. This, is, this seems like Peloton chord. Singing for the classes, music for the masses. Give no head, no backstage passes. I'm a bubba people will be quite polite, but if I... Okay, how about next? leveling with you I don't know it yet um recent music kind of a blind spot for me we may need to make it to the voice to stand a, a realistic chance here but let me see hi Tomo I have no idea this goofy ass Halloween song what is this Tomo it has 2.1 billion views I, this is the first time in Vandal history I don't even have a, a, a thread. Uh, all my friends are... All my friends are heathens? Is that what this one... 21 Pilots Heathens. Guess. Okay, I got it! I got it! <laughs> you said 21? Yeah, referencing 21 Savage, not 21 Pilots. Now, what's funny is I don't know if I've ever heard a 21 Savage song, but I have heard some 21 Pilot songs, including this one. But then and people always make fun of me because then I say, aren't they the one who sang like, you know, in the backseat of your rover, we ain't ever getting. And then people are like, that's the Chainsmokers. And I'm like, what's the difference? And they're like, oh, true, based. He may not know music, but he understands it. What, what is the, uh, did, did 21, I think I had this exact same conversation before. Did 21 pilots do Stressed Out? They did. And what else did the Chainsmokers do besides, the, besides Older with Halsey? Hashtag Selfie, Coldplay Song, Pumped Up Kicks. They didn't do Pumped Up Kicks, did they? Maybe I don't know them. Maybe I only know that one song. Maybe I only know the one Chainsmoker songs and the two 21 Pilots songs. Sweater Weather, that's Weezer. So true. They were on one when they wrote the Sweater song. And I'm happy for it. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing that I'm singing so loud. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing with the rest of the crowd. Don't bring me down. <laughs> No, 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 no. You keep me busting all kinds of ghosts. 
You got me busting the ghost, that's the most. Don't bust those ghosts. Okay, that's Ghostbusters.